So the sole message for today is that do not seek, but just be and have best for less. So what it means as I was sitting with it and I was contemplating and reflecting on it is that in this current reality, we've been conditioned to seek certain things that we were taught as something good. We are still living in a lot of separation, duality, consciousness, right? Um, creating judgment, right? So because of this, we are taught to seek certain things because when we seek them and when we secure them, when we have them or when we go into that place, we're going to be secure with all of those things that is very good for us, basically, that will benefit us. I will be freer. I will be more... Um, basically all this freedom, financial freedom, emotional freedom, uh, mental freedom, because all are kind of limiting us right now. That's why we are suffering. We are wanting freedom within. So basically, uh, we were taught to seek abundance, for example, where we were taught to seek happiness, joy, prosperity, health, wealth, whatever that is to you. But on a subconscious level, we've been heavily programmed with these ideas that abundance, wealth, health, all these things that, we, that are considered to be good in this current reality are tied to a lot of the material, physical things. So if you have a bigger house, if you have more houses, if you have a bigger car or a nicer car, then it means you're rich or you're wealthy. So it's all tied to material, physical things, which is all about attachments, all about you know, possessions. And it leads to greed. The more we want, the more we, the, I mean, the more we have, the more we want. That's how attachment works. So therefore we go into suffering because it becomes an obsession and I can't stop thinking about that thing that I wanna get until I get it but when I get it I'll be happy for a second but then I'm hungry I want more right so that is a state of suffering because we are attached so basically what we are doing here is that we are moving from the age of the material to the age of frequency to the age of Aquarius but Pluto just retrograded to um, Pluto in Capricorn so we are now, you know, going into this place where we need to review these things of material things and attachments and restructure these before we go into age of Aquarius fully in 2024. So I think the message came because it's related to that, the Pluto um, stationing retrograde in Capricorn that just happened. So basically, we are now um, being called to train ourselves to simply be because we have been taught and trained to be very much goal oriented in this life in this current reality that we are living in so that we can acquire things on a physical material level so that that's going to give us what we are looking for on an energetic level meaning emotions energy and motion but actually, everything is just energy. So when you say, I, I want to have more happiness, I want to have more money, I want to have more love, I want to have more joy, it has nothing to do with what you want, but the communication or the signal, energetic signal that you are sending based on what you hold in your subconscious, which you may not be aware or have the conscious realization yet is a constant energy of I don't have that right now so I'm seeking that I want that I pursue that so what that means is you're sitting with that vibration on a subconscious level that's your energy that you're sitting with constantly I want to have this I want to have that I need this I need that I'm in search of this that means I don't have this right now. So with this message, I want to shift your mindset a little bit by using self-affirmations. 
because there's a lot of power in the words we say because every creation starts with sound whether you believe it or not right now om that's where it comes from om that's the sound of the universe the creation why because the sound creates light frequency and then it creates fire and then the material things they that's how the material physical reality is being formed which we have this body here on a dense level but we are moving into a lighter reality which is a fifth dimensional reality which is age of aquarius which is all about um, age of frequency energy so and you know free to be yourself individuality rather than hierarchy and material physical possession security all this lower chakra energy so what we are doing right now and we are transitioning and shifting in, in order for you to transform into that energy for you to align with that vibration is to really review what you are saying first of all because it is affecting your mindset therefore your subconscious meaning your belief systems therefore that's the energy and the vibration that you're holding right now therefore that's what you're constantly attracting into your reality which you are going to experience on an emotional physical mental you know level with feelings and that's going to affect your state of being every time so instead of saying oh i want to have that or i don't have it you just want to say i am grateful i have everything that i need right now and i am abundant i am prosperous i am healthy i am wealthy i am beautiful i am worthy i am enough why do you start saying these things because you are aligning with this present moment that you're sending a signal and that's changing or transforming your energetic vibration in that moment every time you say it you are bring that into your creation that you are having it all in this moment that's how you align yourself to that flow of presence and that's why we say all there is is this present moment that is eternal and all these things that we seek is in the present moment but to align with that we need to silence the mind the programmed mind and go into the heart space and to do that you want to train yourself to stay present meaning simply tune into your heart and focus your mind to the center of your heart where you visualize being happy where you visualize being abundant surrounded by this happiness joy that is available to you right now and the way you do it is just by aligning yourself to your heart center and you can do that by breath meaning you're going to breathe in deep breathe out deep and as you do so what you're doing is you're providing oxygen to all your chakra systems and you are bringing all these different aspects to the center of your heart and that's what we mean by going into your heart center centering yourself and once we do that we are no longer in a state of constant attachment meaning thinking and so we go into the space of non-attachment where non-judgment uh, uh, lies and that is the unconditional love because all the minds are full of conditions right now a lot of programmings so we want to balance this out and you only want to use it when you need to your mind but you also want to start connecting to your heart center where you are allowing yourself to receive rather than always trying to create something meaning give provide build that is a lot of masculine energy that we've been taught and trained with but we need to bring the other side into the balance so this has been underdeveloped 
That's why the message came through so that we can learn to practice simple breathing, just one minute or a few seconds every day. Or you can use affirmations, meaning you want to start reviewing what you are saying and be more conscious with the words that you are saying, writing, speaking, or even thinking and intending because everything is energy. And that is creating your vibration. And when you say, I don't have it, or I want it, well, that is a signal to the universe that you don't have it right now. That means you are chasing for it. That means you are chasing for something that is not available with you this moment. And all that exists in the universe is now moment. The past and future is just a construct of the mind. And so what you are doing is, I am lack. And what you are is what you attract. So I'm going to start attracting more lack until I realize what I'm doing. You see, that's why when you're wounded, when you have a lot of abandonment wounds, you start to chase after people who's unavailable on a subconscious level because once you chase and once they approve you, then you are going to feel worthy. And until you realize your self-worth, you're going to constantly attract these people or fall for these people who are emotionally available because you are not being emotionally available to yourself first. You see, that's how everything works. So that is the message based on or behind. Do not seek, just be and best with less. And we are moving into that age of frequency, age of Aquarius means that we are going to rethink about all these physical possessions. And it's going to be more about the energy and how things make us feel. And we are going to feel like we want to declutter, cleanse, simplify things in life. Um, so that's where we are moving into. But for the time being, until 2024, we are in Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, which is all about authority, structure, power, right? And so we are being uh, called to review these areas. And um, retrograde meaning things will slow down. And even though you want to feel like you want to move ahead, it's going to pull you back because it's, pulling you back on a purpose so that you can review things uh, in, tr in retrospect so that you can prepare yourself to live into this uh, new age that is coming up. So um, that's all I have for today and I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!